To celebrate the end of midterms, Mother Nature gave us rain. But cheer up, this is Xavier News. Hi, I'm Andrea Bazzoli, and welcome to this week's edition of Xavier News. We've got some great stories for you today. First up, in case you haven't noticed, Family Weekend is upon us. Parents and siblings will occupy campus from 8 a.m. this morning until 5 p.m. on Sunday. If you're looking for some family-friendly activities, Xavier players will be performing Pirates of Penzance today and tomorrow at 8 p.m. in the GSC Theater. A brunch will be offered from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. at the Hoff Marketplace on Saturday. And finally, masses will be held at 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. in Bellarmine Chapel this Sunday. Advising for next semester's courses begins next week, so be sure to sign up with your advisor before the only spots left are when you have a class. Ever have trouble determining what courses you need to graduate on time? Or wish you could easily determine what it would take to pick up another major or minor? Muskie reporter Jake Lutz has more on some changes taking place in the registrar's office next semester. Get excited, Xavier students. The registrar's office is working hard to launch a new degree audit system. I sat down with the assistant registrar, Mike Svillick, to see what this program has to offer. The new degree audit is uh, its called DegreeWorks. It's replacing the current degree audit system, CAP. Uh, it's a little bit outdated and kind of long-winded. The new degree audit system is a little bit more streamlined and it'll help students and advisors track progress towards graduation. DegreeWorks will be easy to access. It will be located where the old degree audit is right now. Students will be able to go to the Student Services tab on the MyXU portal to run the degree evaluation. The program is organized and easy to read. It provides color patterns for students to show which classes have been completed and which ones need to be taken. It has a what-if feature that allows students to plan their full college careers. DegreeWorks also has a GPA calculator to show students what grades they need to achieve for a 4.0. DegreeWorks will be launched in February of 2012 before summer and fall registration. As curriculum and certification specialist Evelyn Brannon would say, DegreeWorks allows students to get more bang for their buck. I'm Jake Lutz, reporting for Channel 14 on the Muskie. Thanks Jake, I'm excited for those new changes. Stay tuned, Muskies. We'll have more Xavier News right after this break. Okay, guys, we are going live in 10. Ready, camera two, five, four. Hey, camera two, new talent. Welcome to Save Your News. I'm Hannah Black. And I'm Emily Mayers. We have a lot of exciting news for you today. Looking for a way to relax? You might want to try some midday meditation. Muskie reporter Roderick Curry has more. Ever needed a short break from that tireless work routine? Well, some midday meditations might help. To learn more, I interviewed the Center for Faith and Justice's Associate Director, Deanna Martin, to learn more about this program. What really happens is we gather together from 12.30 to 1 every Wednesday and people of all faith traditions or no faith tradition, those who are seeking or um, who really just want, who value or who want to um, engage in reflection are welcome to attend. 
Um, and we will use different types of meditation from Ignatian spirituality and guided meditation to centering prayer to Buddhist loving kindness meditations um, depending on the students that are present and uh, we have students take the lead and we also have staff members take the lead on these different meditations so it's a great way to take a break from your week and gather together in quiet um, and really just quiet your mind and your body and just be present to what is happening in you in the moment. So there you have it. Come on by to the Center for Faith and Justice every Wednesday from 12.30 p.m. to 1 p.m. for a little meditation. This has been Roderick Curry for Xavier News. Thanks, Rod. Well, that's it for Xavier News this week. Tune in next week for our ever-popular Halloween-themed episode. Up next is Scott Manzi with the Xavier Sports Report. Hey there, have you heard about my robot friend? He's metal and small and doesn't judge me at all. He's a cyber wire bundle of joy, my robot friend. I like to dip and daddle with my robot friend. He's smart as can be and emotion free. And he's computed his way to my heart, my robot friend. After a senior day victory on Sunday, the men's soccer team heads off to Philadelphia to start a season-ending five-game road trip against Temple. After scoring the first two goals of his career last weekend, senior Andrew Boisvert was named to the College Soccer News and TopDrawerSoccer.com's National Teams of the Week. It was Boisvert's first honor on either a national or conference level. He'll lead the team against the Owls on Friday and then St. Joseph's on Sunday. The women's team went to overtime twice last weekend, but couldn't close a deal in either game, drawing Richmond Friday and then falling to GW on Sunday. They'll return home this weekend to also face Temple and St. Joe's, with Sunday's tilt against the Hawks serving as the annual Think Pink Shoot for the Cure game at Corcoran Field. You can get your very own pink soccer shirt for $10, so come on down and support the ladies and their cause this weekend. The volleyball team is in the midst of a grueling six-game road trip and look to turn things around after this weekend after dropping their last two matches, after sweeping Charlotte to start the trip. They'll be in New York and Rhode Island this weekend to face Fordham and the Rams of URI. 